Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at these interlocking tiles. And if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to these on Amazon in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So these are a flexible tile. And these are made to go around uh, like a pool area. It could be in a garage, bathroom, uh, laundry room, anywhere where you want some flooring that's up off the ground. So uh, water can drain out, drain through. And I have a temporary shower I want to put these in. And you can put these in a bathtub too, it said. So I just wanted to take a look at them because I think these could be useful in a shop area, garage, things like that. And I do videos uh, in those areas also. So if you put this in a shop, uh, like a woodworking shop, sawdust could fall through here. You wouldn't be able to sweep the floor, but you could vacuum it very well, I would think, because it would draw air in from the bottom. So I don't know how ideal that would be, but if you wanted a mat in front of a tool, you could use these, you could also use foam mats. This is probably not as good as a foam mat as far as you know being as soft, but it is softer than concrete flooring. So I'll kind of show you how this bends here. It is like a flexible rubber material, but it's a little bit harder. Let's see if I can dig my thumbnail into it. So I can just make a little mark with my thumbnail in it. And these have interlocking tabs on the sides. I don't know if they have ramp pieces for these. I haven't really looked into that. But you could cut these off. You can also cut this material to go around pipes and things. Okay, so I'll connect four of them together to test. Okay, I have four of them together. If you're connecting a lot of these, you might want to use a rubber mallet or something to lock them in place, or you could just step on them. So I'm going to step onto these with my shoes off. I'll just have my socks on so I can see what it feels like on my feet. They're very comfortable to stand on. I did have my socks on, but I didn't feel any pressure points, so I think they'd feel the same barefoot. So if you're using these around a pool area, it would help if you have really hot concrete because you'd have airflow through this, it should be cooler than the concrete below. So I think these tiles are gonna meet my needs. After I'm done using them in here, you know, this is for a temporary shower, I may leave them in here, but I may take them into my shop or my garage. We've talked about putting a area in our garage to put you know, wet boots and things like that. And I think these would be ideal for that area too. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.